Starting in the 7th century, Arab armies began spreading the Muslim religion outside of the deserts of the Arabian Peninsula. After only a few short decades, they had conquered large amounts of territory in North Africa, the Middle East, and Asia. Around the same time, these Muslim armies had begun to conquer much of the territory from the Byzantine Empire in the Middle East and Asia Minor. The Byzantines had been weakened by their constant wars against the Persian Empire and were in a vulnerable state. By the year 640, Muslim armies were starting to raid deep into the territory of the Byzantine Empire. The Byzantines were under relentless attack from the Arab armies, and now their homeland was being severely threatened. The Arabs developed a large navy a short time later to raid even more territory of the Byzantines. The attacks came closer and closer to the Byzantine capital of Constantinople. It was only the start of a Muslim civil war in 659 that prevented further attacks on the Byzantine homeland. The Umayyad Caliphate emerged victorious from the Muslim civil war in 661, and attacks resumed on Asia Minor. By the early 670s, it was clear that the Caliphate intended to besiege Constantinople and gathered a massive army with a supporting navy for the effort. Starting in 674, the Arab forces began besieging the area around Constantinople. The attacks and counterattacks from the defenders went on for numerous years, as the hostilities would stop in the winter and resume in the spring. Finally, in late 677 or early 678, the Byzantine Emperor Constantine IV decided to take the Arab army head-on and ordered an attack with his fleet and land forces. His navy had a new secret incendiary weapon that the Muslim fleet was totally unprepared for, and were completely routed in battle. This devastating weapon would later be known as Greek fire. With their fleet completely vanquished, the Muslim land army was also soon defeated in battle, losing 30,000 men in the process. The Arabs abandoned the siege a short time later that year. The Byzantine victory was of extreme importance for the survival of the empire, as the threat from the Muslim conquerors receded for a time period. Another Muslim civil war allowed the Byzantine Empire to even gain the upper hand over the Umayyad Caliphate in the following years. It is believed that Greek fire was created by an engineer named Kalinikos from Syria in 672 and brought it to Constantinople when his province was overrun by the Muslim armies. No one knows the exact ingredients of Greek fire, as it was a Byzantine state secret that was never revealed. Various sources say it was likely a mixture of naphtha, pine resin, quicklime, calcium phosphate, and sulfur. This combination was pressurized and shot through a pivot nozzle onto their enemies. Wooden ships of the time period were no match for the destructive power of this liquid fire, and turned enemy ships into white ash a short time after being hit. It was the most powerful weapon of the day and brought terror to the Empire's enemies. This mixture even burned on water to increase its effectiveness and power. It wasn't only deployed on ships, as it could be made into handheld siphons, an early form of flamethrowers, and it could also be made into hand grenades. The Umayyad Caliphate tried once again to conquer Constantinople in 717 with a massive force in another combined land and sea operation, similar to the earlier siege in 674. The Arab fleet, which was supposed to blockade the city from resupply, was once again decimated by the Byzantine use of Greek fire. While Constantinople was getting resupplied by sea, the Arab land army became crippled with famine and disease. The Arabs sent a fleet of reinforcements in 718, but they too were defeated before they could reach their army. Additional land forces were ambushed and defeated when crossing Asia Minor by the Byzantines. An allied force of Bulgars attacked the Arabs from behind, and the Caliphate was forced to lift the siege in August 718. The Byzantine victory in the Second Siege of Constantinople is considered one of the most important in European history, as it ensured the survival of the Byzantine state. The Arabs continued to attack the Byzantine Empire, but they abandoned the goal of trying to conquer Constantinople. 
The Byzantine victory also postponed the Muslim advance into southeastern Europe by centuries. Greek fire was deployed by the Byzantines for hundreds of years, but it is believed that the secret recipe was lost sometime during the 12th century, as no more effective uses were recorded in history. Other powers tried to copy the use of Greek fire, but they could never figure out how to use it as effectively as the Byzantines. The deployment of Greek fire is credited as one of the main reasons the Empire survived for so long, despite being under relentless attack from all sides for centuries.